The smell of orange blossoms is heavy in the air, and I could hear the buzz of the bees as they zoom by. They are as busy as I am out here. I have all but given up on the little seedlings I started and opted to buy plants once again. Only a few of the seedlings turned out to be good enough and strong enough to plant. But, before anything can be planted, the garden beds must be dug up and lined with wire to keep the small creatures from eating the plants. This, as most of you know, has been a constant battle, and I feel for once confident in taking these painstaking extra steps to keep them out. the overly ambitious idea that this could be done all in the same day. But as I dug the beds and began cutting the wire, I realized I would need to put off planting for another day. I dug out most of the dirt before lining the sheets of metal across in long rows, making sure to overlap them so that there wouldn't be a way for the creatures to find their way through. Cutting the metal was probably the worst part of it all as it took a while for each sheet. This was done to four beds in total, and as I worked I thought for a moment, why on earth anyone would do so much for just a few vegetables. But that's just it. Sometimes what is easy doesn't yield much value. It's true. I could easily drive to the store and buy tomatoes, but they wouldn't taste the same. And they certainly wouldn't provide the satisfaction of picking them myself. No matter the size of garden you have, you feel it. The incredible harmonious relationship between human beings and nature. And although I do see the irony of me lining these beds to keep some of that nature out, Sometimes it's necessary to redirect a few things. 
It's hard to imagine my life without a garden, even though it was just six years ago when we moved here. And this garden I am in is only about four years old. Before then, I had never so much as potted a single flower and lived in a rental property that had cherry tomatoes that grew on the back fence the previous renters had planted. I never once picked them and instead would have the landscapers cut them back. They were nuisance plants to me. And here I am, being bitten by mosquitoes, sweating over these beds, cutting this terrible metal, and scooping endless piles of dirt, so that one day I could come out here and pick them. It's not sticking to the side, this is just rust. This is part of the metal. So it goes all the way to the end and actually does like an over, so it cannot find its way in. Life has a funny way of working out and changing us for the better. well into the evening so that I could plant first thing that next morning. Before heading out to the garden to plant, I am making ricotta cheese to go with toasted bread later. Using a heavy whole milk will ensure a delicious ricotta. I start by heating the milk just before boil. I will leave a link for a tutorial in the description box below. Acid is needed to separate the whey from the curd. I am using lemon today, but you can also use white vinegar for this. The whey separates easily and is then strained off. Back in the garden, it is finally time to plant. I have tomatoes, zucchini, and lots of eggplant and basil going in. These are some of my favorite things to cook during the summertime.
Time to finally relax, sit outside, listen to the birds sing, and have a delicious snack. I hope you've been enjoying spring so far. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you on the next one.